Hi friends, we will discuss falsification techniques today. So first we will see what is meant by falsification. Falsification means it's the process of converting crisp value into a fuzzy file value. That means in our fuzzy inference system, this is the first method. That means we first we want to convert the crisp value into fuzzy fuzzified value and that process is called falsification. Once the falsified value is once the falsified value is going to decision making by using a rule base so according to the rule base we will take the decision so those things will be done in falsified values only so first we need to convert our crisp value into falsified value so that it can be understood by the rule base and the decision making block will take the decision on it and then it will be given to the defalsification block in that defalsification block it will be converted into crisp value again so that is the output of the controller so this is the entire process of fuzzy inference system so in that fuzzy inference system this is the first method falsification so now let us see how the falsification will be done and what are the different methods of falsification and all these things will be discussed in this video first let us see what is falsification falsification means it's a process of converting crisp value into falsify value that means how we can do these things means by identifying some of the uncertainties in the crisp value the fuzzy values were defined for example i want to say one word called height height i want to say one word tall in that height so tall means I feel that the average height of Indian man is 5.6. So I can feel that if any man whose height is more than 5.8 may be the tall. So I can say that 5.8 to maybe 7 feet may be the uh, region of tall or maybe the membership of tall we can call like that. And that can be, that is the uncertainty. Tall means, for example, if a person is tall, that means the person is having specified value of height. The value of height of a person is constant. But as we don't know the height exactly, we are specifying some word called tall. That means he may be more than 5.8 according to my view. He may be more than 5.6 according to some other's view. Okay, that is the uncertainty and because of that uncertainty increased value. Actually, the value is constant, his height is constant, but we don't know the value or we don't know the height exactly. We can feel that we can we can say the his height according to some fuzzy value. That means he may be from 5.8 to 6 or he may be from 5.8 to 6.2. That means in a overall manner, he can conclude that he is a tall person that's all so like that we need to define the membership values okay the conversion of fuzzy values is represented by membership functions yes. this conversion this conversion of fuzzy value is represented by the membership function and this will be represented as membership function that means for example if his height is exactly 6.1 so I may feel that the height tall, the membership of tall may be 5.8 to 6.2. I can definitely, if I like to take triangular membership function, then my one should be exactly at 6.1 for him because his height exact height is 6.1, and I am I may be trying to represent him. Yes, I don't know the exact value of him. So from 5.8 to 6.2, but after that I came I came to a conclusion that his height is exactly 6.1. So the one value should be at 6.1. Okay, that's the definition of uh, membership function. In that way, we need to define or we need to represent the fuzzy values into membership functions. The fuzzification involves assigning membership values for the given quantities. This is the exact uh, thing of falsification. Falsification means 
assigning the membership values you need to assign the membership values for the particular thing based on the data available let us see yeah this is the membership value assignment so these are the methods of membership value assignment one is institution method inference method rank ordering method angular fuzzy sets neural network method genetic algorithm method induction reasoning method let us discuss one by one institution method Intuition method means it is based on the human's own intelligence and understanding to develop the membership functions. What we have discussed till now, based on the height and tall and all these things, that depends upon the human's own intelligence. Okay, if suppose the average height of Indian man is 5.6, nobody can say that height means. I mean, if a person is tall, means it cannot be start from. 5.4 or 5 or something below than that because tall means it should be in a common sense in your human's intelligence we can say that tall means it should be more than the average height that's why this is whatever we have discussed till now is institution method that means based on the human's own intelligence the thorough knowledge on the problem has to be known in this for this we should know the thorough knowledge of the Uh, problem. For example, if we have taken the height as the example, I should know the average height of Indian man. Then only I can say that some person is tall or some person is short and or he is medium heighted person. I can say those things based on the average height. The knowledge regarding the linguistic variable should be should also be known. I should know tall means it should be above average height and short means below average height. and those linguistic things has i need to be understood properly yeah this is the example for example a reading noted in example 1 the reading noted is having value 1 but we we may have it's, it's a temperature reading a reading of maybe membership function representing imprecision in crisp temperature reading so i am i am measuring temperature of maybe boiler or something else in the industry the reading shown is some some value maybe let me take it as x so it has shown the reading as x that means i can i need to give the full membership for that and sometimes it may show less than x sometimes it may show more than x and the percentage is according to this example minus 0.5% so finally i can conclude that my temperature may vary from minus 0.5 degree of reading noted reading to plus 0.5 percent of noted reading so i can say that the temperature variation is from minus 0.5 percent is to plus 5 percent is of noted reading that means this is my membership function now so in this way we need to define the membership functions similarly for the second case if you see the example membership for fuzzy variable speed in rpm speed in rpm is mentioned here and these are the membership values we need to define and the membership medium means it's from 500 rpm to 2000 rpm low means from 0 to 1000 rpm high means from 1500 to maybe some infinite thing so this is the membership function for speed and if you mention two to three membership functions like this there should be definitely a intersection point for example from 500 to 1000 it is the intersection of low and medium similarly from 1500 to 2000 it's intersection of medium and high because this is the proper uncertainty for example 5.6 is my height for example it's a average height some people may consider from 5.8 to above as the tall person or some people may consider as 6 and above as the tall person so in this you need to define this uncertainty properly that means if the if here for the speed example if 800 is the speed then i can say the membership value in low also i can say the membership value in medium membership function also so i need to consider both of them and i need to come to a conclusion 
that means i am inviting the uncertainty in the value value may be the constant but that may come under low or that may come under medium so there is an uncertainty in the problem so and i will invite the uncertainty in the problem and i will come to a conclusion as the proper value that's why these membership functions are defined properly coming to inference inference means this method involves the knowledge to perform deductive reasoning that means one is depending on other and other one is depending on some another one so i should know i should go ahead with these uncertainties and these dependencies only and the membership function is formed from the facts about known facts and the knowledge if you if you take one example we can easily understood understand this particular membership assigning value see this is the example if u is the universe of triangles for example a b and c are the inner angles of the triangle if that is the case and a is the angle it should be more than or equal to b and b is an angle which should be more than or equal to c and c is an angle which should be more than or equal to 0 suppose any one of these angle of course equality should not be there if any one of these angle is zero then there is no triangle it should not be called as triangle and similarly if we take the universe it is defined like that u is equal to ampersand a b c a is greater than or equal to b which is greater than or equal to c which is greater than or equal to zero and a plus b plus c equal to 180 degree this is a basic principle of a triangle the sum of all the angles should be equal to 180 degree and the types of now let us define the types of triangles if i is the appropriate isosceles triangle and r is the appropriate right angle triangle and o is defined as the other type of triangle if this is the case how can we judge if three members three angles are given to you a b and c according to this order and how can you judge that the given triangle is maybe uh, how much membership value that the triangle may be a isosceles triangle if the triangle may be a right angle triangle what is the membership value and if the triangle may be the other triangle and what is the membership value let us see yeah these are the membership values and these membership values have been defined like this if the given triangle is an isosceles triangle the membership value should come according to this formula and this formula is u capital i of a b and c 1 minus 1 by 60 degree minimum of a minus b to b minus c that we need to take out minimum of a minus b and b minus c for right angle triangle it is 1 minus 1 by 90 degree minimum of capital a minus 90 degree so this is the this is for right angle triangle membership function membership value of right angle triangle and for other values for other triangle it should be in union of these two that means if any triangle is isosceles or uh, right angle triangle then that should not be included in the other triangle so it should be complement of union of both of them so according to de morgan's law we can conclude that i bar integration of r bar that is equal to minimum of 1 minus mu i abc comma 1 minus mu or abc so this is the membership value assignment based on the inference method next rank ordering method that means this based on the polling concept so if we con conduct a polling type of thing then that will be of this type and preference is for above uh, for pair wise comparison so let us see this one yeah if suppose 1000 1000 people responded sorry 10000 people responded for the for a questionnaire about the pair wise comparison among the cars for example let me see this one the first one is palio palio is the name of the car and palio is uh, preferred compared to sienna by 515 members out of 10000 similarly and palio is preferred compared to astra 
by 545 members and paleo is co preferred compared to easter by 523 and paleo is preferred when compared to baleno by 671 so finally i can conclude that out of taking the 10000 samples 2254 members are voted for paleo compared to other cars and that will be the percentage of 22.5 and that will be the rank ordering of 2 so similarly we are considering each and every car when compared to only one car and how many people are preferring this car and finally we can come to a conclusion that number 1 car is the sienna and the number second car is palio and third car is easter fourth car is astra and fifth car is baleno with corresponding percentages now i want to define the membership functions for this problem means i need to see the current percentages of the cars okay that will be discussed here see this one so finally value is of this much percentage and astra is of this much so one means it is 100% so below that one we below that one we need to put like this i mean according to their percentages what we have obtained in the previous slide so the best car will be sienna okay this is the how we need to consider the membership values for these things based on the rank ordering method now the angular fuzzy sets so in the angular fuzzy sets means it is the angular fuzzy sets are different from the standard fuzzy sets in their coordinate description okay and these sets are defined on the universe of angles hence uh, repeating shapes every 2 pi cycles so this we know very well uh, so in angular fuzzy sets definitely it is repeating for after 2 pi cycles so angular fuzzy sets are applied in quantitative description of linguistic variables known truth obviously the linguistic variables based on the known truth values and those things will be discussed by taking an example when a membership value is 1 which is true and 0 is false obviously then in between 0 and 1 it is partially true and partially false let us see this part here for example if it is na that means theta is 0 if it is theta is pi by 4 then it is called partially then it is partially angular so here 0 is equal to 0 i mean theta equal to 0 here and if it moved in anti clockwise direction the theta is pi by 4 here so this is called partially anti clockwise and this is fully anti clockwise if the theta is 90 degree so in this way we will define this and fc is the fully clockwise and pc is the partially clockwise so in this way we have defined these things and so finally so what are the membership values of these things so the membership values defined like this mu t of z is equal to z times of tan theta where z equal to cos theta so if you if we like to see what is for pa partially anti clockwise so what is the value of membership what is the membership value so let us see if it is 45 degree so pi by 4 and tan theta is 1 so z equal to cos theta and that equal to 0.707 so the value is 0.707 here for pa it is 0.707 similarly for pc it is 0.707 for fa its value is 1 as it is 90 degree its value is 1 so similarly for fc its value is 1 and for 0 if theta equal to 0 it is nr at nr the tan theta is 0 and z equal to cos theta so cos theta value is uh, 1 this wrong and cos theta value is 1 so if we take z tan theta its value is 0 so the membership function is defined like this if this is a angular angular fuzzy sets the membership value has been defined like this based on this formula ut of t z is equal to z tan theta where z is cos theta
with theta is the angle from reference. So this is the way of for representing membership values in angular fuzzy sets. Next there is a neural networks method. Neural networks means there are two types of things, two types of inputs x1 and x2 and those two types of inputs have been divided or segregated or clustered into three types R1, R2 and R3. So this is the my basic neural network Thing. I am using this type of neural network here. Then uh, first I, I like to give some inputs uh, called data points x1 and x2. There are 14 data points from x1 and 14 data points from x2 for example. So I have trained my network based on these data sets and if the value the data value is in R1 if it is in R1 the value for this R1 should be 1 and if it is not in R1 the value should be 0. So let me take the first instant value maybe uh, within the R2 so it, the value is mentioned here as 1 and for R1 it is 0 and for R3 it is 0. In this way the values have been mentioned and this is the training value that means if we have given these values if they are within R1 that should be the value should be 1 if that is not and the same value should not be in R2 and R3 so the corresponding values are 0 so in this way we have defined our data points based on these neural networks and those output have been collected here and now we need to test the neural network by using the test data the, once the test data has been given so finally the membership values have arrived for R1, R2 and R3. The test data is from two values from X1 and both X1 and X2 and the, these test values have given us the fuzzy values at the end that those are 0 0.1, 0 0.8 and 0 0.1 for the particular example. So in this way and these define the membership values and in this way by using neural networks we can define membership value or we can assign the membership values. Coming to the next thing this is genetic algorithm. So for the given function functional mapping of the system some membership functions and their shapes are assumed for various fuzzy variables to be defined. So these are the things here the functional mapping of the system some membership functions have been given to us and some their shapes have been given to us for various fuzzy variables and these membership functions are then coded as bit string for each and everything and these bit strings are then concatenated that means they are joined together and similar to the activation function in the neural network we will use fitness function in the genetic algorithm to make the output fit to the system and the fitness function is used to evaluate the fitness of each set of the membership functions and these membership functions are the parameters that define the functional mapping of the system so based on these things we will find finally obtain the membership values so this is one of the membership value assignment method genetic algorithm method and the final one is inductive reasoning so there are three laws in inductive reasoning those are given a set of irreducible outcomes of an experiment the induced probabilities are those probabilities consistent with all available information that maximize the entropy of the set that means the probability should be consistent for all the available informations if it is irreversible, irreversible outcome of an experiment the second point is the induced probability of a set of independent observations is proportional to the probability density of the induced probability of the single observation. So this is the proportionality relation. The induced probability of a set of independent observations. Okay, there are some set of independent observations is proportional to the probability density of the induced probability of a single observer observation okay those are the directly proportional
So the induced rule is that of the rule consisting with all variable, all available information of which the entropy is minimum. So these are the three inductive laws. So these laws will be obtained in our fuzzy logic to make the membership value assignment. So the third law stated here is the mostly used for membership function development. Okay, the only third law is used here. The steps involved in generating membership functions using inductive reasoning are as follows. It is necessary to establish a fuzzy threshold between the classes of data. So you need to mention the threshold value for different classes to, to separate them. You need to give the threshold value. First determine the threshold line with an entropy minimization screening method. So this is one of the methods to get the minimization of the entropy and based on that method we need to do this thing and after this start the segmentation process that means once the threshold has been set all data has been come through that system as you know the threshold we can segment we can make them into segments and groups the segmentation process first results into two classes further participate Further partitioning the first two classes classes one more time, there is three different classes. Okay, this is the process of inductive reasoning in how way they have to we have to proceed. And the partitioning is repeated with threshold value calculations, which lead which lead us to parti parti partitioning partition the data set into a number of classes or fuzzy sets. Then based on shape and the membership is determined. So this is the basic inductive reasoning method of assigning the membership values. So these are the seven methods of membership value assignments. So in this way membership values have been assigned in fuzzy logic. So if you thank you for your great support in running my YouTube channel. And please like this video if you like it and please share with your friends and family if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel please do subscribe and kindly press the bell button thank you thank you so much